What is up guys? I'm Jay and this is Jay's Boarding Life and we're going to be talking about the Arbor Axis Bamboo Collection. So, I want to first talk about my experiences with this board. I've had this board, not this exact one, but this board for about six years. It took me a while to think about, I really had to think, when did I get this board? But, like I said, this is not the exact board. This is not my first version of this board. I got the 2014 version and that was an amazing board. And this board is not far off. You might be asking, why am I not using the 2014 one if I bought it and it's such an amazing board? Well, a lot goes into that story and to make it short, it broke. Not by me, but yeah. Uh, it looks like, I'll have to put a picture actually. It looks like a piece of like shipwreck or something like that. I'm gonna get into the specs of this board in a few minutes. Uh, I'll probably have to change locations because this wind is crazy and it is really hot outside. So. This board has a top sheet of bamboo, which makes it super nice feeling. Flexible, but not too flexy. Very stable. Uh, it's got a nice concave and the turns are amazing. Like this aerodynamic is insane. Like you should have seen me riding just a second ago. I'll have to put some footage in. I'll be showing close-ups and everything like that, but it does the sharpest turns. It's amazing for carving for cruising and downhill. And it's one of the fastest boards I've ever rode. So yeah, I'm just starting off this video by talking about my experience with this, and then I'll go into those specs. Just for background reference, I have three long boards, and like I kind of said, I started riding in 2014. So anyway, I think this is an all around great board, and it does pretty much everything that you need it and want it and ever could hope for if that even made sense. Not to mention, look how beautiful that is. Like that is just good looking. I hope I'm not too far, I hope I'm not too close, and I hope you can hear me well. This version actually, to get slightly into specs but not really, comes with Paris 180 trucks. Uh, used to come with 50 caliber. Um, comes with Easy Rider wheels, which are made by Arbor, and ABEC 5 bearings that are made by Arbor too. This is all made in Venice, California. I don't know if you're into that. Uh, if you are, that's great. This specific board is gonna run you about $200. Depending on where you're located, I got this for $189, I believe. Um, and they have two different versions. A uh, pure maple one, that's $216, $218. Uh, and then they have a 37 inch one, that's pure maple too. Um, and then they have all different graphics and everything like this. The Bamboo series is done by Zoe Keller. Uh, personally, I don't know much about artists and stuff like that, so I couldn't tell you. Anyway, I'll probably add that in. My camera just fell completely fine. But anyways, I couldn't tell you much about artists, but what I can tell you is my opinion. <laughs> And this artist, this artwork is really cool. It's very unique. It's got an interesting style. I love that they blended the colors with the wheels and the top sheet of bamboo. It just all looks nice and it flows together and that's what matters. If you don't like it, then there's different graphics for you. There's some pictures uh, on some versions and there's actually no graphic on some. Now, for the bamboo series, there's only one version. And that's a little unfortunate, but at the same time, it kind of puts the staple as this is the 2020 version. I'll also add a picture or so in of the 2014 one that I used to have. And yeah, so let's get into the specs and change location because hopefully the wind wasn't terrible. So we found a new spot. Hopefully it's good enough, but we're just gonna roll with it. Talking specs. As a complete, what are you gonna get for 189 US dollars for this board? Is it a good deal? Is it not? I'm just gonna start off by saying, I think it's an amazing deal. Am I biased? I, I don't think so, I personally don't. 
as someone who is biased would say. No, this was my first board. I kind of explained that just a second ago, but in 2014, when I started getting into the long boards, I got this board, the 2014 model. But yeah, uh, it lasted me the whole time except the past few years. Um, and I got different boards and I now know new companies and stuff like that. So I think I know if it's worth it or not, or at least a little bit. <laughs> As I stated uh, earlier, it's seven ply maple and then the top sheet is bamboo. So some might ask, is it too bouncy or is it at all bouncy? Because it's mainly maple, but I'm here to say that it is bouncy, but not insanely, you know what I mean? It's not a trampoline. While I have ridden only bamboo boards and they are amazing and I love them, this is the perfect balance. I, I hope whoever that's going to is okay, but they're passing right by. Some might have the concern of since it's fiberglass sprayed on grip tape, will it last long? Well, it will. As long as like you're not insane about it, like you don't got like sandpaper trying to get it off, you know what I mean? This is gonna last you bare minimum a few years bare minimum i mean if if it's not lasting you then like by all means i don't know maybe you're just like a complete ultimate professional um and you're just insane <laughs> you know what i mean but besides that for me this lasted many years of script tape now let's talk about the trucks for this board they have paris 180 trucks right and this is my first pair of Paris 180 trucks. My friend has had them for a while. He stood by them um, and I rode his board and they were amazing. And I was always the biggest fan of the 50 caliber trucks that used to come on here. But after the few weeks of having this new 2020 model, I gotta say, they turn like nothing else. And it's also got a lot to do with the dynamics of just the curvature and everything that this board has to offer. But I'm telling you, these trucks are probably the best that you can get. Wheel-wise, I don't have a lot of experience with this Easy Rider wheels. Uh, they're, like I said earlier, made by Arbor. Um, they are the 69 millimeter 78A version. Um, I love the color. I love how they look. They're nice and soft. Um, but I'm not sure. like. I, I almost kind of prefer the old ones. I mean, going over rocks, going over anything that's in your sight, this will take it down. I think these are the best for cruising around them. Maybe not the ultimate best for going downhill, but like I said, cruising around, carving, pumping, all that stuff, this will definitely get the job done. The bearings that come in this board stock as a complete are ABEC 5, Arbor bearings. So Arbor's done it all pretty much except the trucks on this board, which a lot of longboard companies do. And that's cool. You know what I mean? Um, I think it'd be awesome if they did Bones Reds maybe. And honestly, I think it should have been ABEC 7s. I don't really know why they chose ABEC 5 for this board, uh, but their next model up, the pure maple one with no graphic, um, that's ABEC 7s still Arbor brand and and don't get me wrong these these bearings are very quiet and super fast I mean I've been riding this for like a week or two or so I, I don't even know now but they are very nice I just have gotten accustomed to ABEX 7s but that's not to say that these are any worse I mean I still need experience with them uh, to make an educated opinion so what can you do with this board? I, I kind of said earlier that it's pretty much an all-around king. There are some things that you maybe can't do as well, and the main one is tricks. I mean, most people, well, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of longboarders don't necessarily go for tricks. And if you do, that's super cool. And I've been trying to get into tricks. I have a trick board and everything like that. And I'll make a review on that later, but this board right here is to get around town, to pump, carve, go super fast, 
easy to push and do some pretty nice mild downhill not like mountains i got my land yachts that's pretty much my downhill board this is going to be my cruiser but with the benefit of you know having a little bit of everything and then i have my trick board this does an amazing job at doing what it can do and personally i don't really know a better board for it it's got the style it's got the specs and and hey if you want better bearings spend 15 to 20 dollars on bones or you know whatever you're into but besides that i mean you're really getting a steal for 189 unless the price goes up i mean 189 200 216 like is the top model which isn't really different it's just the bearings and pure maple which bamboo beats maple to me that's just me it, it depends what you're trying to do i want to end this video off by saying is this board right for you i mean i don't know you and I don't know what you're trying to do, but I can kind of give you a basis of should you get it or not. One, if you're a beginner, this was my first board years ago. I've said this a million times in this video. I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but to get this point through, this is a great beginner board. Not saying that it sucks, it's amazing, but it's an easy to learn board. It's not complicated. It's got the twin ends. You can ride it either side and it can do most of anything. And that's why I'm saying this is a great board to be your first board. If you're intermediate uh, or pro, I mean, if you're pro, you're probably not watching this video, let's be honest. But if you're feeling like a second, third, fourth board, you got all your skills down, you know what you wanna do, this is a great board. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it and it's gonna get the job done. And for the price, I don't know if you can beat that. So, being my second time buying this board over the span of what, six years, would I buy it again? Yes, I would recommend everyone that's interested in this board to really look into it and get it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Leave that in the comments below and let me know. I will answer. I'm here for you. I think I'm gonna end this here. Hopefully the audio wasn't too bad in this video. And uh, it was a fun one to make. I'm gonna be making a lot of montages with this board and I got my land yachts review coming up. And then I actually have another Arbor board for my trick board coming up. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and have a great day, all right? See you guys.